The Imitation of Christ, Book 2, Chapter 12, On the Royal Ward of the Holy Cross. Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. To many, this saying of Jesus seems hard. But how much harder will it be to hear that word of doom? Depart from me, you cursed into everlasting fire. Matthew chapter 25 verse 41 For those who now cheerfully hear and obey the word of the cross, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18, will not tremble to hear the sentence of eternal damnation. The sign of the cross will appear in the heavens when our Lord comes as judge. Then will all the servants of the cross, who in their lives conformed themselves to the crucified, Romans 8, 29, stand with confidence before Christ, their judge. Why then do you fear to take up the cross which is the road to the kingdom? In the cross is salvation, in the cross is life. In the cross is protection against our enemies, in the cross is infusion of heavenly sweetness. In the cross is strength of mind, in the cross is joy of spirit. In the cross is excellence of virtue. In the cross is perfection of holiness. There is no salvation of soul, no hope of eternal life, save in the cross. Take up the cross, therefore, and follow Jesus. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. And go forward into everlasting life. Matthew chapter 25, verse 46. Christ has gone before you, bearing his cross. John chapter 19, verse 17. He died for you on the cross, that you also may bear your cross and desire to die on the cross with him. For if you die with him, you will also live with him. Romans chapter 6 verse 8 And if you share his sufferings, you will also share his glory. See how in the cross all things consist, and in dying on it all things depend. There is no other way to life and to true inner peace than the way of the cross and of daily self-denial. Go where you will, seek what you will, you will find no higher way above, no safer way below, than the road of the Holy Cross. Arrange and order all things to your own ideas and wishes, yet you will stand, yet you will still find suffering to endure, whether you will or not. So you will always find the cross. For you will either endure bodily pain or suffer anguish of mind and spirit. At times God will withdraw from you. At times you will be troubled by your neighbor. And what is more, you will often be a burden to yourself. Neither can any remedy or comfort bring you relief, but you must bear it as long as God wills. For God desires that you learn to bear trials without comfort, that you may yield yourself wholly to Him and grow more humble through tribulation. No man feels so deeply in his heart the passion of Christ as he who has to suffer in like manner. The cross always stands ready and everywhere awaits you. 
You can't escape it. Wherever you flee, for wherever you go, you bear yourself and always find yourself. Look up or down, without you or within, and everywhere you will find the cross. And everywhere you must have patience, if you wish to attain inner peace and win an eternal crown.